From Arch Freight, Jacobs have released a new product. These are Jacob's Bites, Red Leicester flavour. Now there are three other flavours. I've not written them down. Uh, what were they? Do you know, I can't, I can't remember any of them. That was a few hours ago I looked. I can't remember them. I wonder if that says on the back. No? Oh, you're kidding me. There's three other flavours anyway. I think one was a cheese lot of cheese and onion. I think one was cheese and onion. I can't remember what the others were. Right, so what are these all about then? Seriously cheesy flavour. Delightfully crunchy. Tantastingly tasty. These mighty cracker bites make every moment full of mmm. Generously seasoned with deeply savoury and distinctive flavour of Red Leicester and baked for amazing crunch. Dip it, top it, munch it. Suitable for vegetarians. What's that? No added palm oil. No added palm oil. So from that tells me there is palm oil in it then. Because when they say no added this, no added that. That tells me there is some in there then. Because you'd say no palm oil. You wouldn't put the added bit in, would you? No artificial... No artificial colours or flavourings. See? Now, if there were... By the same token... No added artificial, but it doesn't say added, it says no artificial colours or flavours. So for me, palm oil must be in here. I wonder if it's on the ingredients. No, can't see it on there. What's that all about? Anyway, there we are, have a look at that. I'll let you guys look at that rather than me just read them out. So there they are. Right, how much did they cost? Now, 125 grams apparently this is. Don't seem that big. Two pound. These cost two pound out of Tesco. But if you use your club card, 125. Now that is value territory there. But what are they like? Because I recently reviewed the cheese it bag of crisps. Um, 150 grams, I believe they were. And that the bag was twice as big as this. But it's about the weight, isn't it? I suppose they are quite weighty. Well, they come in a lot of foily type packaging. First up, sniff. Oh, I'll tell you what, they do look a bit like them cheesy cheese at things. Hey, have a look at them, look. Get in there, have a look. What do you reckon? They don't look like a cracker, do they? What do you reckon? Let's draw them. Wow. That's good. It's sort of like a flattened cheddar. It 
me slot a, a bag of cheddars has spilled out on the floor and a steamroller's come along and rid over the top of them, rode over the top of them. And that's what you get. That is what it is. But the baked ones, I think you can get two types of cheddars, can't you? Because I'm sure I reviewed some of them. You get ones, what are the, I can't remember what, how they market it, but it's harder. They're a bit harder, and they stick to your teeth and that. And this is what these are. Flattened ones of them. These are nice, really cheesy flavour, lovely. Really good. Mmm. Oh, blimey. These are again the sort of thing struggle putting down. Right. Score. They're nice. I'd rather eat them than cheddars, to be fair, I think. They're nice. They're sort of a hybrid of a crisp and a cheddar. That's exactly what they are. I've got to score them bigger at 125. At £1.25, they're a 9.2, I think. 9.2 at £2, a little bit pricey. I'd say they're a little bit pricey, £2. But definitely worth buying. If you really fancied them, I'd pay £2 for them. So I think I'd score them... 8.4 at £2. But yeah, they're well worth a go. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on the other flavours. Now, they didn't have the other flavours in the shop. They only had this flavour. But when I came home to have a look online, the other flavours come up. So hopefully they'll get the other flavours in the shop. And I'll definitely try at least one more of them flavours, if not all of them. They're good. Well recommend trying them out. Right, guys, have you tried any of these? Have you tried any of the flavours? If so, what do you think? Get in the comments, let me know. Right, there we are, guys. That is another new product food review. Thanks for watching. I hope you join me and this one here, Boo Boo the Pasta Kid, again soon on another video. Take care, guys. Right, come on then, Boo Boo. Come on, Bob. Here he comes, he's up there. Oh, he's out. Poor old Bob. Oh, blimey, the old treats are getting old. Bim Bob, we must have banged out a load of reviews. There you are. There you are, Boo Boo. Good boy. Bonjour, guys.